Happy Thursday, everybody. We've got a hot pattern setting up for the next several days that actually starts today. Now, we have had a few showers uh, kind of in this zone from uh, maybe down around West Plains, Mountain Home, and then you can kind of see curving off to the east. Now, that's going to move east today, but we still have a front in the area. This is what came in yesterday and helped knock the temps down for our northern counties. It was in the low 80s. Now, today, that front's going to start lifting back to the north a bit, but we go up into the atmosphere a little bit. Of course, you see the big old swirl sitting over there in, uh, well, just east of Chicago. And then the flow around that is being intersected by a relatively weak low-level jet. So uh, what you have then is lift in this region. That's why we've got those showers and storms but that's not going to affect us today. Temperatures run from uh, just under 60 degrees in spots to uh, a few spots in the mid 60s. But today's temps are going to warm some compared to yesterday, at least for a lot of us in Missouri. And that's especially true for our northern counties where you had low 80s yesterday. Now Raleigh had 84 yesterday, so we're gonna bump your number. You have been outdoing the forecast for a couple of days here, or exceeding the expectation anyway. So we're talking mostly upper 80s today and then 60s tonight and upper 80s and I'm thinking even some low 90s tomorrow you notice uh, there's a 90 in Stockton and Warsaw I really think that that area could be a little warmer than that simply because there is still some severe drought in that region. So here's the jet stream of course you see the low near Chicago as that moves away we're watching a big trough develop out in the Rockies, a huge dip in the jet stream, and that's gonna have some rain and snow even for the mountainous regions, <clears throat> excuse me, high pressure then on the east side of that, and that'll cover up the Ozarks through the weekend and early next week. The question has been the last couple of days, when does that low kick out? Usually when you have the blocking high, this low is very slow to move east and we still have some adjustments possible, but models overnight are in better agreement in the timing of the uh, low moving out of the Rockies and east end of the plains. That will essentially bring our next chance of rain but it's a ways out. So we'll be dry. Notice the rain and snow out in Colorado, and that's Tuesday. Wednesday, we should see some rain in our region, and that may linger into Thursday, but it does not necessarily look particularly heavy at this point. It does, however, look a little cooler. Now, the temperatures looking to be in the upper 80s to even some low 90s across the region. This is Springfield here, but uh, it represents the trend here across the Ozarks. We'll stay hot through early next week. There is the rain chance by Wednesday. Now, long range models overnight are indicating some much chillier air coming in for the following weekend. Way too early to get excited about it right now, but we'll continue to watch.